when we see Catholics bow or kneel before statues, are they worshiping the statues? That is a great question. So I, let me begin with a very big caveat. I have met people that have thought that the worshiping of a particular image of Mary was the actual worshiping of that image. They held the, the actual image that they had as being Mary herself. If you enter into this idea that the statue or the image um, is uh, God or something to be worshiped and you're worshiping that image, I 100% agree that is idolatry. That I would 100% agree should not be done. However, um, that is not the intention behind most people when they do these things. They're rather recognizing that these images are supposed to be an aid to real prayer. That there is not just the image in front of us, but rather what the image is supposed to represent. Um, this became a really big issue back in the year 787 at the Second Council of Nicaea, in which there was this great discussion about what qualifies as a good icon? What can we use as an actual icon? And the iconoclasts, those that said that we should not have icons, said that the only icon that will be allowed is the Eucharist because it is what it symbolizes. All other things, including crosses, were not supposed to be used, only the Eucharist. And now, I disagree with that fundamentally. However, I do think that there is something interesting in that mindset that the Eucharist is the reality and also the symbol of the reality, that it is Jesus himself, body, blood, soul, and divinity, really, truly, substantially present here and now with us, but also supposed to aid our minds in going to, to Christ, um, which that's a very fascinating idea. However, in the Count Second Council of Nicaea, it was definitively proclaimed that icons are allowed, that images of the saints, of Mary, are supposed to aid us in our prayer. We're not worshiping the statue, we are making a prayer. Now, the idea of kneeling, so because I know oftentimes people have weird feelings about kneeling. Kneeling finds its origins, um, oddly enough, in, within the Christian uh, uh, communities. Um, back to how a person would approach their king, that they would kneel before their king saying that I am humiliating myself, I am rendering myself helpless in your presence before you would pres uh, present your petition. It was an act of humility before the king. And so then Christians began to realize, well, isn't, isn't Christ the king? It, aren't, aren't the saints greater than the king? Um, and so they began to assume the same postures that would be proper to addressing a king as they would be addressing a saint. And so it's not as though you're worshiping the saint, you are assuming a posture proper to supplication, um, asking them to intercede before the throne of grace, before God himself, um, which then intercession of the saints becomes a whole nother issue. But fundamentally, the Catholic tradition of kneeling before statues or bowing before statues is not supposed to be idolatry. It is supposed to be an aid in prayer putting the self and the posture of supplication and then using the image or icon as a help to that prayer, to that supplication.